And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for a meme tier Monday. It's meme tier day again. Uh, we're going to be playing some Fiora Draven to start with. We have four really cool decks for today. Not going to lie, they're all viewer submitted decks, but they're all very cool. Um, this Fiora Draven, and I, I kind of have them just named after the champions, but they all have some really unique stuff. So make sure you check them all out. This one is going to be a Nox Cryo Arena deck. That's right, we're playing Nox Cry Arena, round to end your strongest ally and the weakest enemy strike each other. And we're going to be trying to play Nox Cry Arena with Fiora. Alright, so the game plan is to have Standalone be able to buff up Fiora, make it larger so it's going to be our strongest um, ally for the arena. And we're going to have it fight the weakest enemy. Now, of course, we don't want it to die. So what we're going to do here also, like pairing Fiora and Draven together, we get to have Fiora plus survival skills. That should be a really, really cool combination. Um, and, so, you know, we'll have the spinning axes from Draven uh, and the survival skills. We also have, like, if we have Draven and Fiora in play, and so survival skills won't protect Fiora then because Draven's bigger. We also have Repost besides Standalone. Another way to buff up Fiora and get Fiora a little bit bigger. Obviously, um, Sharp Sight as well. So that's really cool with survival skills. We're also going to be playing Judgment, because, you know, Judgment with Fiora. You get some auto kills. That could be awesome. And Unyielding Spirit. Unyielding Spirit of Fiora with Arena would be amazing. But you know, like, whenever you, like, spend all your mana on Unyielding Spirit, and then your opponent just kills your thing in response, right? Like, like round five. Like, if we play Fiora on three or four, either one. And then round five, we have our spell mana, we have our regular mana, we try to Unyielding Spirit our Fiora. And then they just kill our Fiora in, res you know, in response to that. Well, that's when our survival skills will come into play. You know, maybe we'll have a spinning axe survival skills, be able to protect the Fiora whenever they try to kill it. And then the Unyielding re Spirit resolves, and now it's good forever. Um, so that, that's a really cool combination there, too. Um, besides that, we're going to play a couple... We don't play very many units in here. Only 13. So Vanguard Redeemer... We'll be able to draw a unit if, you know, we have something die. Um, so that this can draw champions. And so hopefully this can be like a way for us to tutor up Draven or Fiora. Um, we have Draven's biggest fan to help find Draven. Because we really want those spinning axes for the survival skills all the time. I'm playing two copies of Blinding Assault. Because this can, um, this will give us a unit that's pretty easy for us to have die, right? We just challenge something, have it die, and that will enable the Vanguard Redeemer. Um, so that's a good way to do that too. Plus, ob obviously, all these other cards with um, Blighty Assault can be really cool. A couple of Chain Vests to help protect Fiora. Um, if we were, you know, need some cards, if we have the wrong parts of the deck, we got a couple of Whisper Words to draw some cards. And that's it. That's, that's what the deck's all about. So it looks really cool. Fiora Draven starting the day off today. We're just playing in normal today because we're trying to do our cool combos and everything. Um, and it's meme tier day. So we're starting off in normal. Jarvan Trundle sounds super scary. Okay, I like survival skills, so we're going to have Draven survival skills. I like that. Let's mulligan these spells. Because, to be honest, our deck's filled with spells. <laughs> so we're just, we're really going to like mulligan cards looking for Draven and for um, Fiora right away. Kind of mulligan everything else. So I could play the Draven's Biggest Fan, but to be honest, I think I'm just going to save spell mana instead. Basically, in, in case this Draven dies, we can just play this and find another one. But they are kind of having a, a good start. Maybe I, maybe I need to play this for a blocker. I could play the 3-2 for a blocker and block the 4-3 also. I'll play this for a blocker. Alright, it's Draven time. I'm kind of surprised there's no trick there. I was kind of expecting, you know, Brittle Steel, Elixir of Iron, Troll Chant, something. 
Ooh, okay, okay. Now, we hunt. now we're talking. Start this whisper words going. I want to level up. See a bright seal protector. I want to level up this Draven. But I also don't want to discard survival skills. Let's do this. I guess they are a frostbite deck. All right, we're just gonna do one for right now. I really don't need that bright seal protector. Alright, cool. Level up the Straven. What's my name? We have the, the backup survival skills also. What's up, Fiora? You're not going to do as much for me, Fiora. I don't get to survival skills you. Fight for your king. Barrier? Barrier doesn't make Whirling Death matter too much. To the flag! I mean, I guess I could kill it. Okay, maybe it does matter. Alright, maybe I should Whirling Death. Uh, that's alright. Let's see. Let's go with Fiora. In grace, beauty in the blade. I do you like all these spinning axes with Fiora? That is pretty cool. I imagine they're going to play something. I kind of want to see what they play first. Alright, let's do Draven's Whirling Death on the Fiora. I'm one mana short from Whirling Death plus Unyielding Spirit. I mean, they could, they could just have another fight spell if I go Unyielding. I think I'll go with this. Because, like, if this Draven... If this Whirling Death doesn't work, they use, like, another fight spell. Okay, I was going to say, if that doesn't work, they use, like, another fight spell, kill the Draven, and then I don't have any Dravens left, then I can just play this biggest fan and get another Draven that way. And then, of course, I would also be able to redeem her. So, like, cons like if they had another single combat, I think that, that was the better play over Unyielding Spirit. Um... They're at six. Ooh. Alright, so they shouldn't have another... We do know that they have something that costs eight plus from, like, earlier in their hand. But they shouldn't have another fight spell, because you'd think that they would have cast it last round if they had it. So I think this is a safe time for Unyielding Spirit. I guess I could just wait. Smashing. I'm gonna make a U sickle. <laughs> Bow to your king. Ours is but to do and die. Okay, so we got to. Unyielding Spirit, one of them. Which one? So this is a plus four. So they have two cards here that cost eight plus mana. 
I think it's going to be a safe on yielding. It's just, you know, which one do I want to save it? You know, like, maybe we just save the Fiora. Um, you know, I can, I can Spinning Axe. I have to Spinning Axe three times. So one, two. Okay, I can't really Spinning Axe three times. Yeah, maybe it's just the Draven. Thank you for the cheers, Kitty Dexterity. I appreciate that. Remember the fall. Perfect. That's what, I was, that's what I was hoping for with the Whirling Death. That should kill them. Ugh. Let's do a Vanguard Redeemer. Hopefully that kills them. No frostbite. That's fine. I think we can handle that. <laughs> yeah, they're looking at a hand of like a million spinning axes. Yeah, we can handle that. Okay, okay. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Alright. So I mean, no reason to play Arena first, because like if you play Nox Cry Arena first, then they could just play like um Ice Veil Archer and have, you know, like a slow speed frostbite. Okay. Mulligan spells, look for units. Fiora, Draven. Alright, got a Draven. Zillion Sivir. That's pretty fun. They are doing some predicting. I don't want to meet whatever woke you. Got the cool Malphite card back. It can be undone. I have yeah, Trusty Noodle says Draven's such a good champ, but I hope they don't nerf him. I kind of agree. I don't. I kind of hope so too. But yeah, Draven is using multiple lenses. Very, very good. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Okay. Cool. I'll take a kill. One down. Barriers are awesome against, like, Sivir Quick Attack. Um, I guess I just block here. Your name on it. And go chain vest. Kind of see if they play like pump spell. Nope. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I have nine cards. Yeah, I kind of agree with you, JJ. JJ says there's no reason to nerf Draven just because he's good. I agree. Something's always going to be good. There's not. It's not like completely broken or anything like that. I think it's. I think it's a well-designed champion. Axes coming right up. Time for the money makers. Troubled, friend? Kinda wanna just discard this chain vest and try to level up Draven. Yeah. I wanna level up Draven. It's where I wish our Vanguard Redeemer was whispered words. Yeah, you know, like last round, this round, we just have a lot of mana that that if we don't need these protection cards, we're just wasting all of our mana. Whisper Wards would be really nice. Bryce Hill Protector hasn't looked great in these two games, but we've been much more Draven focused over uh, Fiora focused. My shield is 
Alright, you know what? Let's just get Bright Seal Protector in here to just from an open attack. They open attack, we block. Then we get to Redeemer. Card's annoying. They have quicksand to take out the barrier. I was gonna say we'd have you know our backup. Man, they are predicting. Where's that chain vest? All of this is ours. Uh oh. Just don't know if I want to like proactively use one of these barriers. I don't think I do. I think I save the barriers, especially if that's like a sever they just grabbed. What PNZ cards do they have? They haven't shown any PNZ cards yet, right? Do they just have like Kyrian Sumpworker? That this would actually be a pretty sweet Kyrian Sumpworker deck. You hoping they'll die of boredom? An iterative improvement? Like, iterative improvement Xenotype Researchers is pretty sweet, too. Uh, no, not really hoping they'll die of boredom, but I kind of have too many spinning axes, so I guess we'll discard some. Time for the money makers. I don't think we're too close to standalone doing anything. No, that's the I didn't want to Fiora attack or post. The 6-5. Because this could have just been Sivir, and then I just don't have the Riposte let like I Riposte is a little too valuable to just throw it away on like a first kill on a Fiora. Spent planning is never wasted. I'll see you both on the other side. We'll be waiting. Try not to touch anything important. Look at this. Quickly. Who's with me? Hmm. All right. Trade. You. I wonder. I just don't. I wish I. I wish I had a lot more time with this block than what I have. I really do. Cause I could I could kind of see going all in on either the Draven or the Fiora and like blocking with the other one. You know, like having like the Fiora just die here. You know, like either way, like for this standalone. I wish I had more time to think about that. Cool, that will be useful. That's what I was hoping they wouldn't do. I don't have any room for these spinning axes. Yo, 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 yo.
The good news about this Draven having top is that it doesn't take damage there. Bad news, my Nexus doesn't have a lot of life. Hello, world. I'm Saifa. I long for a worthy opponent. So yeah, we think they probably have a Sivir. You know, they either have a Sivir or a Zillion in hand. That's larger. Okay, maybe it's a Zillion then. <clears throat> I guess I saved Fiora. Three, six, seven, eight. I have to use the spinning axes. For the money makers. Because otherwise, like, end of round, Nox cry a fight, I get the other spinning axes, and then I don't have room for the card that I draw. Yep, so what's the zillion? Going for lethal. With Draven. Awesome. This. <laughs> I don't know. That's, this is kind of a deck that's like stressful. <laughs> you know, because you're like just so, so all in on like either like the Draven or the Bjorn. It's, it's kind of stressful. All right, we got some deep. Deep's kind of rough because deep ignores can't ignore survival skills with uh, like the six mana card that obliterates. Also, if they have a Nautilus in play, then the Nautilus champion spell is real bad for us. So this can be like they they have they have options to get rid of like the something with survival skills or um, or unyielding spirit. Yep, Quicksand would have saved him. There was... Yeah, it was it was not guaranteed that we were winning that last one. That's why it's stressful. Looks like they're kind of tossing and kind of setting up like Devourer, I guess. Yeah, they are going deep fast. They're about to be deep and basically not playing anything small for my Fiora. Just the way I like it. Sorry. Chain vest, yes. 
Devour or no? I think I still use... I think I still use Prismatic Barrier. So Prismatic Barrier saves 3 damage on Fiora. No, maybe I don't use it then. I'm worried about like the next Devourer. No, I guess I don't. I guess we save this to, to play fight. <laughs> Two down. Two down. So they are deep now. Zaxi's deep. So they go another devour. Oh, not this. So I have to get to 14 damage. Alright, 7. 10, 11, 13. 13's not going to quite cut it. <clears throat> well, if I challenge that thing first. Wait. They're at 12. I don't need to actually kill Nautilus. I just have to kill them. So 7, 10. 12. There we go. That'll do. Alright, we 3 know. We'll win the next one. We're taking it over to ranked. Yeah, there was a yeah. We could definitely use two barriers and kill the Nautilus that round. Like we could have killed the Nautilus that round, but it just we saw the Nexus was about to die. We're like, well, might as well just kill the Nexus. All right, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna mulligan the arena. I know like we saw like the arena does work well with the Fiora, but we don't need to keep it. They're gonna have like larger units and stuff too. Like the arena can actually backfire for us. Let's just kind of see what else we get. Don't need to keep it in the opener. Yeah, Arena definitely did some work for us that matchup. For sure. Yeah, you must do this, mustn't do that. And that's why I'm looking the arena. We'll get it back anyway. Our opponent may play the card Hush. If they do, they are going to win the game. We haven't played against an opponent that has played the card Hush yet. I have to try to kill this thing because I don't want it to keep with the challenger with the barrier and all that kind of stuff. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. cool, cool. I would really like to draw a Draven so we can have the spinning axe. Or a judgment. The young prince will be found. Man, one mana short from just playing this Redeemer as a blocker and then having, you know, two things, Repost and Sharp Sight. Right now I'm taking eight, so like a Repost kills me. Yeah, I guess we got points for a blocker. Ancestors are watching. You're covered. Hope they don't have single combat. No, come on. All right, GG's. All right, three and one. So I wasn't, I wasn't survived. Like, we were losing that game that that turn anyway. It was fast. Oh no! All right, so it's all about unyielding spirit. I'm keeping like whisper words very good. Keeping that one. I think I just send the other cards back. Yeah. Unyielding Spirit is just kind of like the 
only real card that matters in this matchup. But of course they can fight spell and response, so... Um, survival skills, also important. So we need survival skills and unyielding spirit. It's a lot. Oh no. Guess I'm trading trade chain, chain vest for uh, sharp side. I guess that's a good trade. See, that's pretty good because I, I get the spitting... Like, that's good for my opponent also because I get the spitting axe, which would be my 10th card, which means that I would not be able to play an additional card next. Okay, I could use... The, the, like, I'm not going to be able to draw a card here, so, like, I have to play the Dragon's Biggest Fan. Uh, it's Raven time. The spinning axes just don't do anything because the Fiora goes back down to 2 health anyway, right? So, like, the spinning axe... Like, discarding the... The spinning axes is just kind of a waste. I will cut you. Try me. They don't have like tons and tons of cards over there. Honestly, that should probably be discarding Nox Cry Arena. Okay. Yeah, Nox Cry Arena didn't matter. Like for that matchup. Alright, so there was Fiora Draven. Um, pretty cool, you know, pretty cool deck. We didn't get to, like, really, like, survival skills on Yielding Spirit, but, like, you know, you have that that option. Um, but, you know, this was a pretty decent Nox Cry Arena deck, right? If we're trying to do that, like, that fourth game, I guess third game, the third game. Really showed off Nox Cry Arena and uh, one of the earlier ones also. Um, uh, but yeah, Draven really looked great with you know a lot of these pump spells and stuff. We didn't have like a like a too crazy of a Fiora game, but like that uh, third game was a, a good Fiora game in there. Um, you know this this deck got to do a lot of stuff. I think that the the Bright Seal Protectors were a little underwhelming, but we did see that like we can lose to decks that go wide. Um, you know like with that with that one uh, matchup where. Uh, that we did lose was like a deck going wide. Uh, maybe, maybe another judgment would kind of help that out. Um, but the the bright Hill protectors were, were kind of awkward at times, like with standalone. Like you know, really like where our deck shined is like just like round three playing one of our champions on round three, and then you know having like standalone afterwards to be able to buff it up. Um, so I could see maybe going like another blinding assault, less bright steel protector. Redeemer was difficult to turn on as envisioned but whisper words looked good a lot so i could definitely see like more whisper words less redeemer also so i could kind of see maybe more like less bright seal protector another blinding assault another whisper words and another like judgment or unyielding spirit those cards are pretty cool but yeah this was this was fun to play you know like there's there's definitely some uh cards to you know mess around with if you have like different cards that you like uh, cause there are lots of options in these regions for protection and everything but um, I think that Draven and Fiora are both very good champions, and this deck kind of showed them both off fairly well. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all are enjoying um, our Meme Tier Monday decks today. We got a lot of good ones on the docket. Hopefully y'all like this one. Um, you know, leave those comments and let me know. But that's going to be it here for Fiora Draven. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.